Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva uh, for the occasion of the Global Symposium for Regulators, GSR 2018. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Guido Glushka, who is co-director of the Institute for Security and Safety, ISS, at the Brandenburg Institute of Applied Sciences. Uh, Mr. Glushka, well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, your, uh, you were part of a panel discussion this morning. Your conversations this morning, perhaps you could share with us a little bit. I know it was very much uh, focusing on uh, AI and IoT and cybersecurity. Why is this global dialogue important? So this global dialogue is important because uh, it's an international development. Every the whole societies worldwide are affected by what happened in the, in the process of digitalization. Um, all all uh, IoT devices are globally used, uh, are globally connected, and uh, and I think we have to think about this triad, which is on the one hand uh, IoT as device producing data, big data. This data is used by AI, and AI uh, is is uh, producing or making decisions and, and making predictions on what we uh, what we behave on and, and how to how I IoT devices uh, are uh, reacting so this this whole triad is by today done internationally by companies who are producing this data or collecting this data by devices which are produced worldwide and they have to interconnect and that's an international approach and in terms of cyber security what should uh, governments and, and regulators be focusing on so um, the Russian president uh, said a while ago, uh, whoever uh, wins in AI will rule the world. Yeah, so I think this sentence frames the discussion a little bit. Yeah, so we need, of course, uh, discussions by regulators, by nation states, how far this goes, if, uh, if, if, if a military or civil use is, is part of this discussion and, and part of this use of, of AI. And uh, so from, from that perspective, uh, we need a multi-stakeholder pr approach on um, on the discussion in, in AI, IoT, and big data. And what about consumers? And what about I mean, just the general general yeah. public itself, civil society, uh, in terms of the fact that we are adopting more and more technologies, that our houses are becoming more and more connected. What should we be most concerned about? What should we be worrying about? And what sh should we be looking forward to? So I would say the most relevant part is is education. So knowing if you buy a device, what is it doing, uh, how, how does it influence me, uh, does it does it watch to what I'm doing or not. So it's, it's, it's really easy to buy something which is cheap, but not knowing what this device is doing is one of the major concern. Yeah? And, and where the data is going to, who's collecting my data, who's analyzing my data. And that is by today a very complex business model, yeah? driven by industry, not by nation states. I mean, it's quite a sort of dark uh, environment at the moment, perhaps where people are, are, are m most concerned about, let's say, obviously the eavesdropping element. Uh, but you know, there the, you know, there's this trade-off essentially, where if I can just talk to my speaker and say, "Play me something that I'd like to hear," or something along yeah. those lines. Of course, there's something very nice about that as well, if it gets it right. But uh, perhaps uh, we should be more concerned along those lines and, and thinking a little bit more, as you say, about who's who might be listening into our our conversations and our demands and our our, our requests. Yes, and and the question is, what is the responsibility of technology providers? What is the responsibility of of us, of everybody of us, uh, in, in, when buying something, when when um, using something, uh, when even placing a device into my home? You know, and I would say there are a lot of beneficial elements in it, but but also you can see that as a risk or as a chance. Yeah, but it's it's on your decision and your responsibility how to use it and whom to give the data to. Is regulation the answer, though? Because in terms of, uh, for example, you know, we've just had all sorts of new regulations put in about uh, collecting uh, information when we're tapping on a website or or the way that people are, are emailing us. But nowadays, it's so we're, we're so much inundated with choices here mm -hmm. that perhaps a lot of us are just literally going, OK, accept, 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 whereas before mm -hmm. we might not even been accepting, but now we're pressing accept just to get to that information. Yeah, so, so from that point of view, I would say regulation could help. It's, it's definitely not the answer. It could help protect people from probably companies' business from from uh, inadequate behavior of websites of devices. On the one hand, on on the other hand, 
um, it's a it's a business driven um, uh, element. IoT is 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 not developed, or the whole cybersecurity is not developed by nation states. It's developed by industry. So a nation state looks typically to the nation states and their interest. And I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that regulation is not the answer because then uh, that you have you have national interests and what we need is uh, is an international focus international interests yeah. what is the interest of all the people in the world of society yeah, probably related to un sustainability goals mm -hmm. yeah. what about uh, a more positive uh, end to this discussion. What about a, a bit a warmer glow? Perhaps have you discovered some of the uh, some of more positive elements in your research? So what what, what I'm thinking is that, that there is a couple of dialogues started. I the IT dialogue is a very important element in that. Um, in, as far as I know, at, at UN there will be um, an, an again a start of UNGG or a, a cybersecurity dialogue uh, end of this year. And I would say we have to think globally, and there have to be initiatives which which help people to understand uh, how to deal with with these new technologies and how to how to use it. So, should we be more optimistic for the future then? Yeah, we should be optimistic and responsible yeah, when using that. Well. Uh, Guido Glutcher, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio and sharing these insights with us. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you hopefully again at yeah. another GSR and uh, wish you the very best uh, of luck with, uh, with the rest of your research. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, do uh, tune in to all of our uh, other uh, social media at uh, ITU YouTube channels and ITU SoundCloud channel as well. And uh, we look forward to uh, um, being able to respond to your questions as well on, on ITU social media. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much.